I'm gonna show you how to create this unique scrapbook cutout video effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get straight into the video. So here we have my images and here we're in Premiere Pro. So we're just gonna drag this onto the timeline here. You can go to sequence settings and you can change it if you want. This is probably gonna be for like TikTok. So you would wanna go to 1080 for horizontal and 1920 for vertical. It'd probably be smart to move this program monitor to the left side so that you have a bigger look at it. We're going to start with an image like this that's pretty boring. So we're going to just bring it to the front. We're going to click on it and scale it up so that it fits the entire frame. And now basically what we're going to do is we're going to introduce an element from an image and then introduce the entire image. So for example, what I mean by this is we're going to introduce this guy right here, for example, and then introduce the rest of the photo. So in this case, we're going to make a duplicate of this image because we're going to have one that's just a guy and the one that's the entire photo. So first you want to scale in, make sure it's the size you want. And then we're going to hold alt or option and drag down to make a duplicate. So I'm going to hide one of the tracks and we're going to cut out this guy right here. So we're going to select the pen tool, make a really rough mask. If you want, you can also press fit right here and it'll show different options for zooming in. And you can press H on your keyboard to use the hand tool to move around and then P for the pen tool and go back. So here we have basically him cut out. We're going to connect these dots. And so we have something like this now. So this is how it will look like if we play. So I'm just going to move this closer. So if we press play, you can see he's introduced. And then maybe a couple frames later, you want to introduce the entire photo. So that's basically how it works and we're going to repeat this process. Maybe the most crucial part of this tutorial is finding good photos to use. You want to use photos that have a lot of shapes. This includes windows, mirrors, glasses, anything that would look normal if you were to cut out parts of it. So in this case, we have something like this. You want to look for where there's hard edges and where there's shapes. So in this case, you can see this hilly area. We can cut that part out, separated from the water and sky. We're going to make a duplicate. So hold alt or option, cut out one of these layers. I'm going to just hide this top track right here. So click on the pen tool under opacity. So now we have something like this. So if you connect the points, you can see the background now. And then we're going to unhide this top track right here, stagger it so it appears after this cutout clip right here. It'll look something like this. And you can, of course, adjust the timing if you want. You can also do something different where you cut out a part of this first clip so you can cut out the sky and behind the sky is another image. Let's say this is the next photo. What we can do is make a duplicate, move it to the point where this clip's going to end and cut out this sky area. So I connected the points, but you actually don't see anything in the background. And the reason is because we have two of the same photo right underneath it. So we're just going to trim it so that there's nothing in the background. So if we trim those two images and also these ones as well, you see basically this. You want to invert it so that only the sky is out. There's essentially nothing underneath this photo. So we're going to add this photo of the girl now. We're going to scale it up. We're going to add it underneath this photo now. So now you can see here. And then now maybe after a couple of frames, you just delete this portion and then it shows the rest of this girl. So now I'm just going to speed through the next six images and then I'm going to show you the final product and final adjustments you can make to this. I'm going to show you what I would do next to create some final adjustments. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to highlight every single clip here, right click and nest it. This way now we have just one clip and we can do things such as right click and go to speed and duration. We can speed up the length of each clip now. Otherwise, we would have to go back, trim every single clip one by one. This way we can speed up all clips. So I'm going to maybe speed it up to 120. It's slightly faster now. You can also add things such as noise. So I'm going to search up noise in this effect panel. I'm going to drag it on. So I'm going to go for about 15 here you can also download my free visual texture pack it has a couple of overlays so for example we have a noise overlay if you didn't want to use that we can rotate this 90 degrees we can also add my dust overlay as well and set this one to screen and rotate it 90 degrees as well you can go on google as well or a stock footage site to search up a paper texture you want to make sure it's white or black so the blend modes work well on it so i'm going to do something subtle like this we're going to drag this on top as well make sure that the scale is correct it's a little easier to add an overlay if it's a black overlay so what we're going to do is we're going to invert this add it on top of this paper image right here we're going to go to window lumetri color and we're just going to increase the contrast lower the shadow so that it becomes a little bit darker so something like this. And so now if we go onto this paper image and change the blend mode to screen, it's very, very subtle. If you try to use blend modes with the original paper texture, it wouldn't blend that well. That's about it for this video. If you don't have Photoshop or Premiere Pro, don't worry. Adobe is having a promotion where you can get over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. If you're a student or teacher, check the link in the description for that. If you want more tutorials, check out this playlist and subscribe for more videos.